Hi, this is Chellin with your Network Marketing Minute. And I want to talk to you today about keeping your warm market list vital. How to keep your warm market list from dying. So, it has to do with technique and it has to do with attitude. Now, the attitude is that um, you have to have... Uh, you have to have posture. You have to have posture, and you have to you know, treat each of your worm market in a sensitive manner. And what I mean by that is you have to you have to approach every person, whether they're your worm market or not, with their apparent need. Now you're going to approach people with your opportunity, or you're going to approach people with your products, you know, which product, and you know, it's going to take some knowledge of the person that you're speaking to. And if you approach them in a sensitive way, uh, it just improves your chances. You know, in a sensitive way, I mean, you have to determine their need, especially if you can get them to express a need. And so, <clears throat> once you do that, whether they say yes or no to your opportunity or your solution, you ask them for a referral. Now, always ask for a referral. Ask for a couple of referrals. You, know, you shoot for two, maybe you'll get one. But you don't get one if you don't ask for one. So, it has to do with technique, and it has to do with your posture, meaning I mean, don't, as, uh, as Ray Hickman puts it, and you, you approach people when you don't, the outcome doesn't matter to you. You know what you have. You know that you're going to get people who are searching. You're not out there to convince people, argue with people, try to use your masterful persuasion. You know, you're going to present a common sense solution, uh, a simple business model or a product to help that person. And uh, if it works for them, great. If not, that's okay too. You can always come back to them later, but don't go pestering them and making a bad impression on yourself. Uh, here we go. Go ahead, guy. And here I go. So, hope you got some value from this. Now keep your warm market vital updated regularly, and you will not run out of people. And on top of that, you can go to the cold market and you know, continue to build your business that way. Don't be, uh, no, be a double-edged, or don't be just a one. Well, if you're good at anything, you can do it. And I uh, hope you got some value from this. If you're good at one thing, great. If you're great at two things, that's what I'm saying. If you're great at three things, you know, bring all your tools to bear. But if you can only do one thing and all you want to do is deal with a warm market, you can do it. You can do it. So this is Chell on your Network Marketing Minute saying so long. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.